All right, next up, put your hands together for Phil Crew, everybody. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Phil Crew. I am 35 years old. Next year, I'm going to be 34. See, on, on what should have been my 40th birthday, I decided every year I don't have my shit together, I'm going to subtract a year from my age. The problem is, eventually, I'm not going to be able to drink anymore. I really thought that by this age, I would be married and have a kid that no longer talks to me. I, uh, I actually was almost married once. I got a mail order bride, but this woman was really spoiled. And I mean, that's, that's my fault. I should have paid for the expedited shipping. <laughs> See, I, I wasn't sure if that joke was good. That's, the, that's one thing about being a comedian. You never know if a joke's gonna go over good or bad or not. <laughs> a few years ago, I was doing an open mic in Chapel Hill, and I made a joke about Chris Brown and Rihanna, and yeah, a domestic violence joke did not go over well in Chapel Hill at all. <laughs> I mean, they are hipsters. They don't want domestic. They want that small batch craft violence. <laughs> what should I expect? The place, it was, at a, it was at a barbecue, a hipster barbecue joint. Instead of smoking the meat, they vaped it. <laughs> but yeah, you, you can get in trouble. Like one of my friends, who's another comedian, he did a joke on stage and the punchline had the word retarded in it. I'm like, dude, that is so gay. You cannot say that. <laughs> So my, uh, my regular job, I actually, I, I work with dogs. I'm a dog walker and pet sitter. I just figured, you know, if I'm gonna have a job where I had to deal with shit all day, at least it comes from something cute. <laughs> but I had a lot of job before this that I did not like at all. I was a door-to-door -door salesman and I was selling no soliciting signs. And the people who really needed it wouldn't even answer their door. <laughs> I, uh, I worked at Massage Envy. Um, management there did not like me. It's like, I guess I rubbed somebody the wrong way. <laughs> I, I owned a McDonald's, but they didn't want to renew my contract, and I, I felt really disenfranchised. <laughs> oh, man, yes, groaning. I, groaning is what I actually prefer hearing. I, I, uh, yeah, usually my jokes are really bad. They're, they're puns. I remember the, uh, one of the first open mics I ever did was here at Good Nights, and I was so nervous, because like, the first time I did comedy reminded me a lot of the first time I ever had sex. So I'm like, I'm really nervous. This is something I've seen on TV a lot that I've always wanted to try, and I just want to last four minutes without embarrassing myself. <laughs> So you can see, I, I try to dress up really nicely for tonight. Most, most of my wardrobe consists of metal t-shirts with a, the tour dates on the back, because really, that, that's the only way I can ever remember where I've been. <laughs> but I have my t-shirts organized in a special way. Like, every, every shirt's got its own spot. Like, my Megadeth t-shirts are on Hangar 18. <laughs> oh, yes, Lisa, okay. All right, okay, oh, I've got, war, I got more bad music puns. So, uh, you know, Bob Seger taught me how to play chess. And I had a lot of trouble figuring out the, uh, the horse. That's when he told me it's funny how the night moves. <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry, I, I, got, uh, I got another one too. So TLC, you know TLC, they had their own uh, medical supplies company for a while, but it went out of business because they had no scrubs. <laughs> I actually had a, a sh when, I, when I was a waiter, the chef in my old job said he wanted to murder me for telling that joke. That's how I knew it was a good one. <laughs> so I know a lot of comedians have talked about online dating. The thing I hate about online dating rather than meeting people in person is women know they hate me before they even meet me. <laughs> my, most of the girls that I meet, they raise more red flags than the Soviet military parade. <laughs> so speaking of, you know, so the Olympics are going on now. You know they have the... Uh, the Olympic Village, they have these special beds to make sure that the, the, uh, the performers, the athletes aren't having sex. I mean, why do they need that? All I had to do, I have my personality to make sure that I never have sex. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something interesting about it. So people think I'm, uh, I'm woke. I'm not really woke. I just have really bad insomnia. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm, I'm honest when I say I don't see race. That's the same thing I told the cops when I ran over all those marathon runners. I'm sorry, I don't see race. I'm gonna leave you with one more. So my father, my father was an inventor. He actually invented super glue, but he never found the time to bond with me. Aww. Good night, everyone. Aww.